Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to model a struss structure with the skewed support in Abacus. I'll be doing this structure shown here with a 45 degree incline support and also one here and there's also a force applied at this um, inclination. And it has a length, or all, all truss elements are this of the same length. And yeah, so let's get started. So you go to Abacus create a part, I'm going to draw this thing to the planner, Y element, let's call this thing truss, approximate size 10 is fine, then I'm going to draw our little truss over there, uh, that, that, I'm not going to be too worried about the lengths in this case because that's not the part of what I want to show you, so this is my truss, going to assign a section to the thing so select everything make sure everything is selected just call it set truss say done it wants a section so you create a section call beam let's call it truss I'm going to keep it as a truss structure so you select truss continue on a cross sectional area or on any material so you say material steel, elastic, elastic. I'm going to sort of sprint through these creations because they become sort of sec second nature when you do this quite a few times. So steel, that Young's word less than the poison ratio. And let's make a cross-sectional area 30 minus 4. I usually work in meters, newtons, pascals and this is the area of each element is 30 to the power of 10 to the minus 4 meters squared. Okay, so there's our truss. Select same thing, type truss material. Cool. Section sums done, no orientations for truss model. And that's about it for now. We sh can also mess or mesh our little truss. So seed the thing first. Sorry, can't s mesh it first. First seed. So we seed it, select that size. I'm happy with it. Okay looks good, mesh it, so yeah, look at element type, select everything, um, beam element type, that's pretty fine, we can select truss as well, two node linear 2D truss, that's also fine, rather than select the truss element for this model, so okay, okay, so now we can move to the boundary condition, so we first continue to create our assemble, so create instance, that's fine, okay we have the instance, create our load step as well name it load and static journal, cool great, don't need a description for that okay, now I'm going to add the pin support at the top first because why not, easily enough set boundary condition Displacement and rotation, leave the default name, it's top over there, and say done. And oh, actually, select the load steps, sorry. So we should put the displacement in the initial step, displacement rotation over there, okay, and spin, that's fine, good. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to start with this rotator support. So for rotator support, you need to create a new axis. So you're going to create an axis at both these points. Just going to zoom out a bit. So you're going to go to Tools, Data. I'm going to create a coordinate system. Well, one thing, first thing we need to do is create a l the angle of our coordinate system. So we're going to select Axis. Then we're going to we can select rotate from line. This is one option that you can use. Another th one you could possibly use is um, something like, well, I don't know, um, possibly uh, actually not quite sure. Um, is add elements, draw additional elements to mimic the 
access you want and use that and delete the elements later on or something like that. So I'm gonna in this example I'm gonna rotate the axis from a line. Select the straight line from which to rotate. I'm gonna select the bottom line because it's straight. Select the point about which to rotate, so I want that point. And the angle of rotation is forty five degrees in the first one. And these are line. And we always need two lines for our um, axes, so we need another one which is 90 degrees from, well, to that line. So I'm going to select the straight line again, and same point, and 45 plus 90 gives us an angle of 135 degrees. And that's this line. So that's our 45 degree angle and the x and y axes of that line. So now we move on to creating in the coordinate system at that point. Select the two lines and datum system 2. So I'm going to say roller system. It's rectangular. And then you select the straight line to be the x axis. I'm going to select this line for the x axis and select the straight line to be in the x y plane. Well, you can select that thing as well, and then you see our x axis, y axis has been created. Then click cancel because now we already have that one. Then we need this side as well, so we go to a rotate from line again, select the straight line, it's a point which to rotate. And we say the angle is well 135 degrees, and that's that angle. I'm not going to bother with the 45 degree again, so we're going to say two lines. Let's say pin coordinate system. Next, and the straight line x-axis. We name that line our x-axis a line to be in the x-y plane that line and our x is up that way, that's fine. And our lines are created, we can actually now move on to delete these lines. I'm not sure where they are defined, should probably be in features. So datum system there and there is this datum axis. We can delete these axes because we don't need them because the coordinate systems are already defined. So I'm just gonna remove that system by deleting it. So alright Ooh, they need to delete the um, system with, so I'm going to undo that, which I can't, which is quite bad. So now I must recreate my line, sorry. So don't delete lines, you need them. <laughs> so, tools, data, access, rotate from line. Select that line again. Well, sorry, select the point of it, which I rotate. Oh, selected the wrong line. I'm sorry. So right from line, select the bottom line, point 45 degrees. Now we create a coordinate system from the two lines, rectangular, so we say roller. She says again, good practice. Continue. Straight line to be the x axis, is this thing? X, Y plane, I'm going to select this line. And that's done. So just cancel. So now my coordinate systems are defined. Now we can create our boundary conditions and loads. So we go to BCs. I'm going to call this our pin. Displacement rotation. It's an initial step, which is also OK. Select the regions for the bun. It's that little point over there. Coordinate system. We select this coordinate system and it's a pin, so that's fine. So there's our pin with that coordinate system. Now we move to the roller, so you create our roller, displacement rotation, that's fine. And a region is that little dot over there. And in our select our coordinate system. And our y is constrained, right? You can remove in this x direction. 
Okay, that's great. Now we still need to apply the point load. So that's in the load step. Just call it point load. Point load. It's a concentrated force. It's great. Continue. Select a point. It's also at that point. And then coordinate system. Instead of global, we select our coordinate system and it's in the x direction. So force 1. It's naught and force two. Let's say it's twelve kilonewtons. It's okay, and you see the force is in the wrong direction. So you go to our loads. Sorry, not PCs. Loads point load. Let instead of plus thousand, yeah, plus twelve thousand. We say minus twelve thousand. The reason is the direction in the positive x axis of the um, coordinate system I created. So now the force in the right direction, that's correct, everything seems fine, let's create our little job, job 1, continue, it's fine, and let it run, submit, yes. hopefully it works, we'll see when it's done running. job has completed successfully. Let's have a look at the results. Ooh. Oh, this is still from the previous example, so I should go to options and just remove these. It's okay. Just interested in displacement at this stage. So only thing the displacement is that part over there. So U1 displacement is fairly small. U2 is also a very similar magnitude. Oh yeah, and that's how you model a uh, rotated support and a force at a specific coordinate axis in Abacus. Thank you very much for watching. Happy modeling.